In this video, we will explore some of the more sophisticated PubMed search techniques that can help you to refine and focus your results. Suppose you are looking for the latest research on the development of a vaccine against the Ebola virus. Enter the words Ebola virus vaccine in the search box and click search. Then click on the link for the advanced search page, which is located directly under the search box, and check the details for that search. You will see that the strategy that PubMed employed for this search is actually very complicated. It consists of a combination of searching with the official search tags, which in PubMed are referred to as MeSH terms, and keyword searching, which means searching for every occurrence of that word in all fields. Since keyword searching tends to bring up articles that are not on topic, if you omit the keyword searches and search using only MeSH terms, you will be able to reduce the total number of results and create a set that is more focused. One way to find the best MeSH terms for any given topic is to look at the MeSH terms assigned to the most relevant articles. Go back to the search results, still sorted by best match, and click on the title of the first article. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and review the MeSH terms that were assigned to this article. You will immediately spot the term Ebola vaccines, which conveniently combines both concepts of our topic. Click on the link for that term, and in the pop-up window, select Search in Mesh. You are now searching the Mesh database, which is one of PubMed's sister databases. Review the contents of this page, noting the definition of the term, the year it was introduced, and much more information. When you are satisfied that this term is appropriate for your search, click on the Add to Search Builder in the upper right corner of the screen. Then click Search PubMed. Now you have 547 results, down from the 1,910 of your first attempt. So simply by identifying and searching on a highly specific MeSH term, you were able to generate a set of results that is about one quarter the size of your original search, and each article in this set will have had this MeSH term assigned. So no longer will you be picking up articles due to an incidental occurrence of the word. Now let's try another topic, the use of acupuncture for low back pain. Clear the search box and enter the words acupuncture low back pain and click on search. This brought up a set of 824 results. With the results sorted by best match, click on the title of the first article and check the mesh terms that were assigned to it. Here we see the terms acupuncture therapy and low back pain are listed as well as a number of other terms that together describe the content of this particular article. Click on the link for the next result and do the same for this article. Again noting that acupuncture therapy and low back pain were used. And likewise for the third article you'll note that those terms were also assigned. So since it appears that these two MeSH terms are regularly assigned to the most relevant articles, let's try running a search using just those MeSH terms, omitting the keyword searches, and see how it affects our results. Click on the MeSH term Acupuncture Therapy and select Search in MeSH. Review the information provided on this page noting that there are several specific types of acupuncture therapy that are listed under the general term. These will automatically be searched on as well as the original term. Note that it also lists the MeSH term acupuncture as a health profession. It would probably be advantageous to search on that term as well. Go to the upper right corner and click Add to Search Builder. Then clear the word therapy from the search box so that you can search on the term acupuncture alone. 
click on the first option listed. Again, review the contents of this page. And this time, you will be adding that to the search builder, but before you click on that button, change the Boolean operator from AND to OR, because you want to bring up all articles that have either one of those mesh terms assigned. Then, back to the search box, enter the term low back pain. Review the contents of this page, noting that low back pain is a specific type of back pain, which itself is a specific type of pain. Add this term to the search builder, this time retaining the Boolean operator AND, because you want to find all articles that have both concepts. Then click on Search PubMed. Then go to the Advanced Search page and review the details for the last two searches that we ran. You'll see that for the basic search, with all of its keyword searching, we brought up a set of 824 results. Whereas for the mesh term search, we brought up a set of 456. At this point, you may wish to change the sorting from Best Match to Most Recent so that you might see the most recent publications first. Though searching solely on MeSH terms usually produces a more highly focused set of results, there is one important caveat to keep in mind. As a matter of procedure, citations are entered into PubMed immediately upon receipt from the publishers, and then the MeSH terms are assigned retrospectively, usually within one to three weeks, but sometimes longer. What this means is that a search conducted solely using MeSH terms will not pick up the newly added articles until they have been fully processed. In addition, a MeSH term search will not pick up citations for articles from several smaller subsets of results that are part of PubMed but which will never be assigned MeSH terms. So now you've had a chance to see how two different search methods in PubMed would work. I encourage you to explore the benefits of each method to determine which might work best for the particular search you are running at the time.